Cantor's family has waited more than two years for this trial, and today attorneys showed jurors hard to watch police body camera video from the night of the shooting. It included officers frantically trying to save Cantor's life. The judge has restricted audio and video recording inside the courtroom. During opening statements, prosecutors told the jury evidence will show DeAndre White and his friends, all too young to get into bars on 6th Street, traveled from Colleen to downtown Austin. Multiple people had weapons, but the DA's office says only White opened fire in the crowded entertainment district. He pulled a firearm out and he shot eight times into the crowd. And you will hear and see video footage from that happening. Prosecutors say police found multiple guns in the home where White was arrested, but only one gun that was hidden. It was in a box under a mattress and matched the gun used in the shooting on 6th Street. All of this evidence and all of this testimony that you're going to hear is going to make it very clear that DeAndre White was the shooter, that he was aware of and knew what he was doing when he shot into that crowd, and yet he chose to shoot. 25-year-old Douglas Cantor was visiting Austin with friends when he was struck and killed in the shooting. His mother emotionally testifying that he'd just graduated with his master's degree, had a good job, and was planning his future with his girlfriend of 10 years. Doug died because of these people that he had never seen or met before in his life that brought guns and used them on 6th Street that night. In a brief opening statement from the defense, attorneys said White was on 6th Street when a gang member pulled a gun on him and he had no choice but to react. One of them pulled a weapon out of his waistband and Mr. White felt that he had no choice but to defend himself and his friends. We also heard testimony from a woman who was shot in the shoulders and neck and is now paraplegic, as well as testimony from an Austin police officer who tried to save Cantor's life and transported him to the hospital himself when EMS couldn't get through the crowd. Reporting at the Travis County Courthouse, Melanie Torrey, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.